Guys, how are we doing? Welcome to the channel. Today, we are gonna to talk about a bunch of tips that can make life easier. This is mainly gonna to apply to you guys with a few more years than I have, but I tell you, I'm starting to feel the aches and pains, so I feel for you. You know, if you guys have arthritis or it's hard to turn your back around or, you know, to just get things connected or disconnected or find information. This video is intended for you, but for anybody looking to make life easier, you'll wanna stay tuned. As always, I am proud to be sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. I have a set of two inch spacers on my 1025R, but you can get them from one to six inch in aluminum or steel. If you're feeling tippy, you know, a little rocky like this side to side, wheel spacers are gonna widen your footprint, get you some more stability, especially if you're working and operating on hills. Check them out, there's gonna be a link down below. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love to get some feedback from you. You can do so in a few different ways. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button right down below if you wanna see more videos. So there could be things that haven't been mentioned in this video that maybe you found helpful. A great way to share is to leave that comment down underneath the video. All right, we're gonna go through 10 different items. Some of these I sell, some of them are affiliate links that I have, others are just I think helpful and you'll want to know about them and you might have to do a little research we'll put links underneath but here we go the first one is going to be the word quick all right and that's going to encapsulate a lot of different options you want to look into it if you don't have it if you haven't bought a tractor if you have already bought a tractor there's still some things you can do so the first quick there's going to be three of them but the first one is going to be quick couplers all right so you'll have one coupler one big like lever or handle that you'll pull to disconnect all four and then reconnect all four it makes it a lot easier in fact, we did a video in December, I think it was, of something called Faster Hydraulics. They make these quick couplers or quick connections for a lot of larger machines, but uh, a Kubota L6060 actually had, I think we had eight hoses on there that were all being connected or disconnected with one lever. It was pretty cool. So that's an example of a aftermarket or third-party source, but you can also get those from the OEM from Kubota or John Deere. The second example of quick is gonna be a quick hitch, and this, is an item that you don't really do any work with um, by itself, but it allows making the hookup or disconnect of attachments a lot easier. It's gonna stay right on your three-point hitch at all times. Just has a couple of levers here. You got your top hook as well, but this is really gonna simplify the process of attaching and detaching and really take the manhandling, the frustration, the cuss words, whatever it is out of the process. So along with making it easier to hook up, this one stands out among the crowd with the Spico E-Hitch. You're gonna see slots down here. We've done a lot of videos all about it, but this does not use bushings. If you look at other quick hitches, you have to put a bushing on the pins of the attachment because the slot is a lot bigger. This is a direct fit to category one attachments. And so that's why I choose to sell it. And it's essentially the only one that customers buy from me. So this is a product that I do sell and we sell them all the time and ship them all over the country. Just send us an email or pretty soon we're gonna have a website where you can order directly right on there. The final or the third example of quick is gonna be quick attach attachments. And the John Deere is a really good example of that. It's not the only one by any stretch of the imagination, but starting up front, you have a quick attach bucket. So you can quickly take this on and off. It's just very easy, just a couple of pins to do so. You can put paddle forks on or a snow push or anything else. But a quick park loader as well is gonna make life a lot easier. John Deere system, I do think, stands out above the others as far as simplicity and ease of operation. And it's not foolproof, but it's gonna be a lot closer to being foolproof. In my opinion, John Deere's quick attach drive over mower decks are gonna be the simplest and easiest thing to take on and off. You know, a lot of the other mower decks, I know you guys are aware, you have to get up underneath there and manually disconnect and reconnect a PTO shaft pull a bunch of pins and then try to slide it out and manhandle it from the side, that mower deck to get it on and off, it's a pain to do. Again, I'm not gonna say it's completely foolproof, but it works very well and I would highly encourage you to get that system if you're looking for a mower deck. And of course, the backhoes are also gonna be quick park, so they're very easy to take on and off. And on the John Deere and the 1025R for a prime example, we have done videos on how you take off uh, the backhoe, the mower deck, the loader, the bucket, all the above. So we have all that instructional information for you as well to check out. Okay, so a really cool one for the tractors that don't have steps are gonna be this little step right here. And you can get them in different um, drops, you know, amount of drop. You're gonna have a limitation if you do have a mower deck on here, but on that note, you don't want to use your mower deck. I know it's, it makes sense, like you want to be able to step up on there and get up, but the mower decks aren't really, even though they're drive over, they're not made to be stepped on because when it's being driven over, you're doing so when the entire rim or perimeter of the deck is on the ground. So all that 
load is being spread out. But when you're stepping on it, it's suspended in the air and it's just being supported by you know, the brackets that are tying it into the tractor and allowing it to move up and down. And so if you're putting a lot of consistent weight over and over on one side, it's pretty likely you're gonna damage it and put it out of alignment and you're gonna have an uneven cut and that's a problem you don't wanna deal with. And these are also gonna come with an integrated tie down and then a matching tie down point for the other side. This is an item that's an affiliate. So if you order it directly from Muds Customs, I'll link down below, you use code GWT, you get 5% off of your order. So another really cool one you're gonna see here, one on each side, they're gonna be grab handles. Again, they're also from Muds, but they're available for a lot of the different John Deere loaders. Most of the loaders on their compact tractors, not the 3E series, but they're gonna have a hole in the top of the mast where you can mount these grab handles to, and they're really gonna assist with getting on and off the tractor. So if you get a step, you know, a stability point might be this handle for you as well. More of a comfort or a safety item to prevent any accidental mishaps from occurring. One of the great cheap or, you know, fairly inexpensive things you can do for your machine is gonna be right in this same area, adding on a couple of mirrors or maybe just one mirror. Um, I sell the mirrors myself. The green extensions are from Muds Customs. You can get them with or without that either way. But very nice to have that visibility of what's going on behind your machine. If you wanna see if your tiller's tilling the ground, if your brush hog's cutting, anything. You can see without having to turn around and look back there or if you're on the road, going from point A to point B, it's nice to have that for visibility. But just a nice, easy thing to add onto your machine. Another option you might wanna look into, I haven't gone that far yet myself. I've seen a few others online. I think Tractor Time with Tim did one, but actually getting a backup camera. You have a little display mounted somewhere in your operator station. That way you can see what's going on behind you. That could be helpful, of course, if you're backing up, but I think also maybe if you're trying to attach to a three-point attachment, maybe seeing what's going on behind you with that tiller or that brush hog, or I suppose even going down the road, you have some visibility of what's coming up behind you. I do have a backup camera in my skid steer, which has very limited view kind of in these areas anyways, and you really can't see anything behind you. So I can say that a backup camera is very helpful. It's just gonna be, of course, more involved on the installation side and more expensive as well. Okay, it's no secret, I love Lube Shuttle, and this version of the Lube Shuttle grease gun is gonna be electric. So if you have arthritis in your hands going on, all you gotta do is just push a button here and you can get to greasing your machine. I talked about it a lot, but it's one of the simple forms of maintenance. Zerks all over your loaders, your mower decks, your backhoes, other attachments that you have too. So it's one of the areas that you have to interface with your machine on a maintenance level the most frequently. So every 10 hours or so of use on the front end loader, and I think a lot of other attachments as well are in that same general vicinity. So mower decks and backhoes can start to add up pretty quick too. You gotta stay on top of it. The loop shuttle not only makes it easy with the electric version, which it is pricey, I'm not gonna deny that, but you can get 5% off with code GWT, you order direct. But they have a system as well that makes it very easy to change out cartridges. There's not really any priming involved either. So it's as simple as taking off the protective sheath on the outside, you unscrew a cartridge. You know, if you're familiar with the other types of grease guns, you can battle through it if you want, or you can say it's a piece of cake, but we all know it's not as easy as this right here. It's self-priming. So you basically just push up on the bottom of this cartridge until it's right at the top of the neck. You screw it in. You slide the cover on. And away you go. So these are gonna be reusable, they're recyclable, you know, so you can get a variety of greases if you want to, you can keep more of them on hand. Anyways, it's a very nice system. You got a greasy machine. If you don't have a grease gun, you're looking for a new one, it's a good option to consider. Again, there's a link down below. You buy this directly from them. Use code GWT for 5% off. So if you're looking to stay out of the sun, if you have, you know, melanoma or skin cancer spots, you know, all that kind of stuff. I know my father-in-law has to deal with that a lot. And, and get things burned off. He's always looking to stay out of the sun. And a canopy or a cab, you know, certain tractors are gonna have a cab with air conditioning, which is really nice in the summertime, but even a lot of the aftermarket cabs that you can get, you can still take the doors off. So you can have some sun protection overhead and still get some airflow through there. But an even cheaper option would be a canopy. Now there are a lot of canopies out there. There's some others that I could get myself uh, to sell, but primarily I recommend the Rhino Hide Canopy. I mean, I'm lifting this up with one hand, as you can see. So it's very lightweight. It's almost like, um, you know, the, the truck bed liners, not the spray-ins, but that plastic, that really hard plastic. It's almost that same material. It flexes a lot. It's gonna be very 
durable, you know, as Rhino High might suggest, but Don McCoy, the owner of the company, has done a lot of videos on his channel. You know, in the frigid temperatures of winter, we actually did a video, uh, we broke or tested, I guess I should say, a John Deere hood, a Kubota hood, and then we also took the Rhino Hide canopy in those really cold temperatures to see how they performed. Dropped a bunch of stuff on it. I actually drove a big five series tractor right across this to see if it would break it. This is the same canopy, it's all in one piece. It's very lightweight. Why that's beneficial is because you can take it on and off of your tractor very easily. Don has done a video actually showing just how easy it is to take on and off from the operator station, which if you want to travel down the road with it, if you need to fit it into your garage, you want something that you can take on and off very easily. A lot of the steel and fiberglass canopies that are out there are very cumbersome to deal with. They're going to break. I get a lot of those in that are broken, damaged, because if you hit a tree or branch, whatever else, they're going to damage where a lot of times these are going to bounce right off. So again, this is another affiliate type of product. You go and order this from Rhino Hide Canopies, link down below. You're going to buy it. Right after the purchase, you get a survey asking you where you heard about it. You mentioned Good Works Tractors or GWT, and Don's going to go ahead and refund you 5% off of your order. Really cool item here if you're looking for tie downs potentially if you're trailering your equipment or looking for other additional ways to secure equipment to your bucket. You can see these are bolt on brackets that you have. They're from JU Fab Works. Again, another partner that I work with, but a lot of options with D-rings and, and chain hooks and a receiver. This is really good with a drop hitch to get it down a little bit lower for you. Uh, grab handles, a wide array of assortment. You can get just a center bracket here. You can get the outer ones. You can get a whole combination like what you see. He's working on lots of products all the time. So he's a small business owner like myself. He's trying to fulfill orders as quick as he possibly can. So he's also working on more of a universal setup. So a lot of the buckets out there aren't going to be or they're not going to have a, a long straight top on them like this, the Kubota buckets and some of the Mahinders and Masseys. So he's working on more of a universal system to be able to connect and attach to a variety of buckets on the market. And again, it's another partner that I work with, okay? I don't sell these. You order them direct from his website. Use code GWT to save 5% off of your order. So you might not think these are going to make life easier for you, but a lot of you guys are going to use your buckets to chain things and strap things to. And so instead of having to go all the way around somehow and manage and finagle back down around here and come around this way, you have easy tie-off points that are up high where you can connect to you know, with a hook or with a strap or with a chain, whatever you have going on. And again, having the visibility with a receiver up front. And it might be beneficial to have a drop hitch of some kind to get it down a little bit lower, uh, depending on your, your hitch height of your trailers. But having everything up front where it's easier to work with and not having to bend over into awkward positions or anything else. And again, having that line of sight to what's going on is going to make life a lot easier for you. Okay, so if you have a quick hitch, that is going to solve the problem or the pain of hooking up to a three-point attachment. A lot of those attachments, again, the brush hogs, the tillers, a rear snowblower, are going to have a PTO shaft that you have to mess around with and line up everything and get it hooked up down there. So we did a video a while ago on the tractor PTO link. This is the original system that's going to simplify the process of attaching to a PTO shaft on your tractor. It can take a lot of the pain out of the process. It gets it into a more easily accessible location as well. So if you're looking just to make that a little bit easier hookup process for you, this is a Made in America product. Again, it's a 5% discount code. You order it directly from them. So it's a very cool system. So this is the only system on the market that doesn't require any other tools. Some of them out there will require tools. Some of them require some disassembly of the U-joints and permanent changes. Also, if you have a quick hitch, it's going to push out or push away the attachment from the tractor about four and a half or five inches. And so you can make up the difference on your PTO shaft length by adding on one of these. Okay, so we don't have to think about it too much in these long summer days, but as the days get shorter, the nights get longer, you need light to work with at night. Some of your machines are gonna have some fender mounted work lights. They are kind of in the way of the loader mass, but depending on what you have on your machine, they're gonna be better than the headlights. However, you gotta start somewhere. I think the LED bulbs that you can put in a lot of the John Deere tractors make a significant improvement. I've heard a lot of feedback over the years. There's a link to Amazon where you can buy those. You can also swap out the halogens that are in your fender lights to the LEDs. There's some other options for you too. So a great portable light solution is going to be from Big Tool Rack. They have a magnetic and rechargeable light that you can set up on a loader mast. You can put it up on your ROPS, have it face forwards or backwards, or say you have to get underneath the hood, you can stick it on the side of some steel and shine it underneath there as well. 
that's one you buy direct from Big Tool Rack. You get 5% off of your order. And then also our latest supplier to the GWT Discount Club, 511 Designs. They make some really cool custom grill guards, but what they also make are brackets that bolt on or bolt around, I should say. They kind of clamp right onto the ROPS bar for Kubotas and John Deere tractors, and you can get them with work lights as well. So you can just tie them right into your electrical system. So when you turn your lights on and off, you're gonna have some more light that's up high shining down and out of the way the loader mast or the bucket or if you have a grapple or a snowblower or anything else on the front. Same thing if you're looking behind you, you can shine them backwards. And we had a chance to take a look at a pretty cool prototype that's not quite ready for production yet, but coming soon. It's actually a bar that goes all the way across. You can mount it in a way so that you can still get into a standard height garage. You can put a light bar on there to shine forwards, backwards, or both. Regardless if you go with any of these options, I'm telling you, lighting is one of those things that's going to really improve your operator experience. My eyes are getting bad at, I'm not quite 40, but I'm getting pretty close. So I can imagine the, the challenges of, of seeing as we keep getting older and the eyesight's getting worse. So something for you to think about. Now, the last thing you want to think about doing, and I know some of you don't want to do it, but if you can find a way to get yourself online, just Google some forums, tractor forums, green tractor talk, orange tractor talk, my own website, Good Works Tractors. We're redesigning the whole thing. It's coming soon with its own forum section. And the reason I bring that up is there's such a large community of tractor owners out there. So, so if you have a problem with your tractor or a question on what this knob or button does, or you want to do something different, you're not sure what size attachment to get, it's likely that somebody's already asked that question and had a whole bunch of folks respond to it. But even if you can't find that, you can still post that question on these forums and get a lot of helpful communication back and forth from other folks that have the same model of tractor or a different series of tractor or maybe have been to the same situation that you have. So it's a great place to get quicker answers versus trying to call a dealer and maybe not hear back. Or if it's over the weekend or at night and you want a quick solution, tractor forums are going to be very helpful. Alrighty guys, well hopefully you found that helpful and enjoyable. This is meant to solve a lot of pain points, okay? Make life easier. If you found it enjoyable, again, I would love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos and head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Thanks again for stopping by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.